A suspect who led officers on a dangerous police chase into downtown Detroit just dug himself deeper into trouble. We want to welcome you to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Tobias Catron has an extensive criminal history. He was fresh out of prison at the time of that chase, but he was still given a personal bond, which is basically a personal promise to appear in court. He did appear today, but not without some profanity laced drama aimed right at the judge. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette has her swift response. Less than two weeks after allegedly leading Wyandotte police on a high speed pursuit in a stolen car into downtown Detroit. Get on the ground! Tobias Catron, who was fresh out of prison and on parole in late October. I'm not going back! Is still talking trash. But now he's remaining in custody, and it appears not getting out soon. Just listen to him hurl four-letter obscenities at a district court judge in Wyandotte today. GPS tether, house arrest. Please don't interrupt the record, sir. Thank you. I'm downtown this day, drop the bomb. Judge Elizabeth DeSanto then doubling his bond to half a million dollars. And quite frankly, the court's going to indicate a $500,000 cash bond, no 10%. No, sure, based upon the defendant's behavior. I'm next week. Unlike prior judges who let Tobias off with personal bond, DeSanto not accepting his disrespect for the law. Consider police have also said the 26-year-old bragged about shooting and stabbing people and remains defiant. Stop. Stop. That's fantastic. Parents here in Wyandotte are telling us not only are they happy Catron is off the streets, but also they're praising the judge for not putting up with his antics in court. Today we shared our prior reporting and this most recent profane outburst with parents living here in Wyandotte. Their take on his actions? For someone that has nothing to lose to risk, their lives is pretty scary. I don't think it should be tolerated. Yeah. At all. <laughs> like, and if you think he's going to get out, I mean, setting a high bond would probably be the right thing to do. He's off the streets, something that uh, the previous magistrate failed to do. Wyandotte police add Catron has even bragged about intimidating witnesses. They say the public has to be protected from this habitual offender. We know Mr. Catron. We know he has a violent history. I think um, his actions today in court. Uh, illustrated that um, that lack of emotional control. Police continue to advocate for tougher penalties in cases like this. We'll be tracking his case to make sure there's accountability. From Wyandotte, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Simon.